All right, I'm gonna to switch to my number four bristle brush and grab some of this. I'm gonna go right in here. I'm gonna put a stroke down and test it out. Now, I think that's way too dark, okay? See how this just jumps way out more than this. And the darkness of this is about the same value as this right here. All right, now this is ultra important. We want to remember, and I had said this last week, that we don't want anything else back in here to get as dark as what we established right up in here. If we do, that's going to completely kill our aerial perspective, our depth. So I have to lighten that. So that was a test stroke. So how can I lighten it? Well, I'm going to start with some titanium white. But titanium white's going to cool that real fast. It's going to get very pink. Let's try some of that right there and see what that's like. It's a little bit better. I think I need to go with more. But I'm also getting cooler as I go. And I don't want to get that cool. There's still a lot of warmth in this red rock because of all the reflected light that's going to be bouncing off all this stuff here back up into the rock. So I need to warm this back up without getting too dark. So what are my options? Well, I'm probably going to grab something right around in here. These are my warms that are a lighter value. Okay, I'm going to start out with a bit of yellow ochre because I don't want to get crazy warm. I'm actually going to get rid of that or scrub that in. I just made a big mess. Oh well. Okay, the yellow ochre is not bad, but it gets it a little too neutral almost. I'm going to go back with some more, more Venetian now. And this might seem tedious, but this is how this is how it's done. This is how most artists work. You know, we we don't look at something and go, oh, I know exactly the formula of colors that needs to go in there. It's a lot of trial and error and making adjustments until you get to the color you want. But it's thinking while you're doing it. The thinking is the most important part. And what do you think? You think, okay, how are my values? We said the values are too dark. We got to go lighter. Okay, we go lighter with the value. Then how is my color temperature? How warm or how cool should that be? Those are the two things you constantly want to be thinking about as you do this. And what is the basis for your thinking? Well, my number one goal is to make this here feel like, you know, it's in that type of lighting situation, but also feel further away than what we have going on right here. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I need to achieve. And how do we do that? Aerial perspective. Things generally cool and get more neutral and get lighter in value as they receive, with the exception of whites, which do um, kind of the opposite almost. Okay, so I think this is a much better value to start out with. It's got to be darker than this slant right here, but it shouldn't be darker than what we have going on here, especially what we have going on right there. Thanks for watching this short clip from my most recent live oil painting session. Our group Oil Painting at Home meets online four times a month through Zoom, and we work on an oil painting together from start to finish. Members of the group interact not only with me, but with each other while we paint, and they get live feedback on their work. Each session is recorded, which allows members to catch up on anything they may have missed or would like to see again. I also record myself doing the same painting privately in my studio with full commentary. This lets students see how I do the same painting from start to finish in just one or two sessions using a wet on wet technique. We also meet together for live Q&A and critique sessions. And not only that, but members get immediate access to all past painting sessions so they can learn how to paint a wide variety of subject matter at no additional cost. This amounts to hundreds of hours of instruction. Access to oil painting at home's live sessions are very limited and turnover is very low. So if you've not done so yet, sign up on the priority list by clicking on the link in the description below. 
Once the space becomes open, I'll let you know.